Hi guys! I'm Charlie, Charlie Big Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to do a TBR video, but not my monthly TBR video. And this one is a bit late, but I've been on holiday in the Netherlands where I live for the first like half of August. So I don't really have a TBR for August, but I'm going to participate in a month long readathon, which is called The Reading Quest. And it's taking place from August 13th to September 10th. And it's basically like a video game quest it's set up like that it uses this bingo card where you can choose a rogue a bard a knight or a mage and you have to follow that path but after that you can choose any bingo spots you want and i am going to follow the rogue path and i'm going to try to do the um the side quests which are the which are the spots in the middle and i am so excited about this i'm going to do I'm going to tell you about the 13 books I picked out for these squares and even if I don't get to all of these I really want to do this full bingo card because I think it's such an interesting concept like I love readathons if you can even call them that like this one so yeah bingo cards all the way so the road path starts with a banned book and I didn't have a banned book on my TBR yet, so I went out and looked for one and I found a very controversial book, which is Endless Game by Orson Scott Card. I've heard a lot of shady things about Orson Scott Card, but honestly, I can separate the art from the artist or author in, or the book from the author in this case. And I really want to read this book. It has super high ratings on Goodreads. It's sci-fi. I want to read some more sci-fi. The synopsis sounds really good. So I am going to read this. The second square is a book cover with a partially obscured face. I went onto my TBR. Had quite a hard time with this one again. But I'm going to read Crystal Storm, which is the fifth book in the Fallen Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. I don't like this series, but I am so far in. I want to finish it now. Like, I'm almost there. So close to, to the last book being released in this series. I am going to finish it. So I might as well read the fifth book now. Next square is a book under 500 ratings. I'm actually currently reading this book already, but I am going to finish it on Sunday the 13th. So it counts for this challenge. And the book I'm talking about is The Grave Keepers by Elizabeth Burness, a book that is not yet released. It takes place in a cemetery. It's quite interesting. Don't really like it that much so far, but the concept of it is interesting. Like these people, like everyone has from the age of 13 onwards, I believe, their own grave and they can like sit in it to think. It's such a weird concept. Like I have no clue what I'm actually reading most of the time. Then the next square is a book published by, by a small press. I chose Harmless Like You by Rowan Hisao Buchanan. I already had this one on my TBR as well and I chose this one because otherwise I will never get to it because I'm never in the mood to actually read this but I'm going to push myself to read it because I am interested. It's just adult fiction and it doesn't sound like super exciting so I keep pushing it back but I want to give this one a try. The next square is a one word title. I went with Braced by Alison Gerber. The main character has scoliosis. I have scoliosis, although it is not in a severe form, but I thought it was so interesting. I've never heard about a book that describes a main character who suffers from scoliosis and has to wear a brace to help with that. So I am very interested in this one, one with title, Brace. Then onwards to the side quests. The first one is a book by two authors. I did have a book on my TBR that was written by two authors. So I went out and looked for one. I found Warrior's Cross by Madeline Urban and Abigail Rue. This is a male male romance and I don't know how I even got this. Like when I typed in books by two authors, I found a Goodreads list with male male romances. I was like, why the heck not? I don't read enough of these anyway. So I just picked one that sounded interesting and added it to my TBR. I'm reading this. The next one is a buddy read and I'm already reading this book. But again, finishing it on Sunday, the buddy read I'm doing is Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I am doing this buddy read with my boyfriend. I have read this one before as well as Illuminae, but my boyfriend didn't. So I read Illuminae as well as Gemini with him and we are currently reading Gemini together. We are almost done. We are so close. 
and he definitely definitely wants to read the third book in this series, Obsidio. He's not a reader. I'm so excited that he wants to read this with me. So yeah, I never actually buddy read, but this one I am buddy reading and I'm so glad I have a boyfriend who is willing to try the books I'm pushing onto him. A book over 500 pages. I picked The Fire the Stars by Claudia Gray. This is the first book in a new series by Claudia Gray. It came out this past year. Uh, it is a sci-fi series. Again, I really want to read more sci-fi. So this book sounds super interesting. I believe it's about two people who are from, diff from opposite ends of the war and they become unlikely friends. A book set in the past or the future is the next square. Obviously, I chose a book that is set in the future. I chose Adam Silvera's newest release which is they both die at the end i have an e-arc of this one so i will be reading it it's coming out in september it's about two boys who know they're going to die on the same day and spend their last day together it sounds super em emotional and i'm so ready for it then I have a free choice spot. I didn't fill in this spot yet because I haven't made my free choice yet. I figured I should get to all the other challenges or all the other squares first before I even get to this one. So you will see this in my wrap up eventually. A previous DNF and I was not really looking forward to this square because honestly I DNF this book once. Why would I want to read it, read it again? But I chose This What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith and I didn't feel too bad about giving this book another chance because I tried to read in Dutch, which is my own language, and I didn't like it. But now I'm going to try to read in English and maybe I'll like it and don't think it's too juvenile like I thought last time. Let's hope I... Let's hope it goes better this time around. Then a companion novel or a short story. I'm going with The Score by El Candy, which is the third book in the in the off-campus series. There's a new adult college romance series and all of the books in this series are companion novels. They've like the same friends pop up but they're all following different main characters. I had a hard time picking a book uh, for this squib so I was really happy I had this one on my TBR to be honest. Then a graphic novel, a novella or a poetry collection. I'm going with Lullabies by Lang Lief. Honestly, I love Lang Lief's poetry. I have a review up for The Universe of Us if you're interested in that. But I have read Love and Misadventure and um, The Universe of Us by her now and I love both of them. I have Sad Girls, her first novel, her debut novel on my TBR as well. And I am so excited to read both of these. Lullabies is a poetry collection, by the way, I don't know if I said that, but I'm so excited to get into more of Lang Lear's poetry. And the last quest is a book with an animal in the title. I went with Monsters of Man by Patrick Ness. This is the third book in the Chaos Walking trilogy. It's been a while since I've read the second book in this series, but I figured I need to finish up this series. Monsters is, by the way, not really an animal, but I didn't have anything else and I didn't want to look for anything else. So I figured a monster could be an animal. I'm just kind of cheating, but it's an animal in my opinion. So this is my TBR for the reading quest. Let me know down below if you're participating in this readathon as well. I will leave the link to the original post down below if you are interested and you haven't heard about this before. What books are you going to be reading? I would love to know. If you read any of the books I just mentioned, I would love to know your opinion on those ones as well. Thanks for watching. Goodbye!